houses as a carpenter for 10 years. The first summer, these street artists started showing up, and I saw a clown. He would do these little sketches, and he'd put his hat out, and people put money in his hat. And I thought, well, that looks like fun. Literally, the next day, I went out, put on some white face, and, and tried some sketches, and that was awful. People just ignored me and walked by. So I continued to doing it every weekend, and um, finally I was earning more money there than uh, I was as a carpenter. I was working in a psychiatric hospital. I was 21 years old. I couldn't picture myself being there for another 30 years. I worked here in a stock room. I didn't want to go to the CGEP, I didn't want to go to the university, and I was going to go to No guidance, no parents. No agent, no business contacts, sitting waiting for a phone to ring. Kind of dream about being a monk in a cave, you know? The quote from my grade one teacher, Miss Sitter, Gordon is disruptive in class. What is left from the beginning of Cirque du Soleil is that every creative process is a teamwork. It's not uh, the costume designer who is a star, or it's not the set designer who is a star, or the director who is a star, it's just it's a team. And it's the best idea that wins. And in that process, it's very organic, in the sense that you can have so much idea to cover this, the wall of all this room, but what will be the most important will stay for the end. Well, I think we all come from the same background, more or less. You know, we're sort of Saltenbank. You know, they had they started very early with their own small circus, and um, they had a, a love for this style of work, as did I, as do I. And um, so it was a it was a very automatic sort of uh, blending. I don't know any clown that's not a fan of David Shiner. You have to be a fan of David Shiner, um, and if you're a good clown, you study David Shiner, and if you're a lucky clown, you get to work with David Shiner. <laughs> David who? Oh, him, yes. <laughs> He's uh, very good as a director, especially clown directing. He finds a way to, to make that, that fourth wall, the, the thing in your head saying you can't, you can't, he makes that disappear.
For you, magic. 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 Illusion. <laughs> and phenomenon. <laughs> Where did we go? <laughs> what we wanted to do beginning of this project was to bring the act down to its bare bones, the emotion. The clowns have to make everyone laugh. The high wire walkers have to terrify you with what, what they're doing. The wheel of death, it's the same. For this show, we're going to go back to the roots of what Cirque du Soleil was 24 years ago. Something simple. Scary stuff, jugglers, uh, really circus on the street, like a public uh, square. The level of acrobatic skill is extremely exciting to watch, but at the same time terrifying. <laughs> That one of my first moments of like taking me out of my brain was I was seeing I saw a little presentation of the teeterboard act, and as I stood there watching them launch in the air, it was like I became a little kid again. And I watched them go chunk and land, and I was like. I'm in a circus. It's the kind of act you really Это become afraid of. Такой номер, когда вы действительно боитесь. It's a good feeling. Хорошее ощущение. Как нам страшно. Not for you. They are scared. Le départ, c'est toujours une recherche visuelle. Dans ma salle de création, j'ai un paquet d'images toutes collées ensemble. Les murs sont tapissés au complet. Et on a fonctionné beaucoup comme ça avec David, de sélectionner des images puis de faire « Ah oui, c'est dans cette ligne-là qu'on s'en va. » Si on va voir une toile lundi, on va avoir un prototype. L'émotion. Des fois, c'était juste l'émotion du personnage sur l'image qui faisait référence à ce qu'on voulait ressentir quand on voyait un des personnages de notre spectacle. Jimmy, can you move your hands? Pour moi, c'est un beau cadeau, cet univers-là, parce que ça marie plusieurs de mes passions, plusieurs de mes inspirations. On n'identifie pas d'époque. Ça peut venir autant du passé que du futur. Et toutes ces images-là mises ensemble, ça finit par former un entonnoir et donner un seul costume. Flutes for me, one of those flutes. Un moment, 
moment zen. À un moment où est-ce que juste une flûte, où est-ce que juste un truc, avec puis lui, il monte ses chaises. Donc là, il arrive, il est comme une grosse boule de disco. Tout son costume au complet est en miroir. Deuxième partie, dans les escaliers. Death transforms into like a Liberace Vegas. Okay. Stop. I think there's a lot of nice stuff in it. Music is important for people, and, it, and it's something deep. It's something important. So I need to make sure that that we all connect on that level. It's and it, it is. It's not an easy place to come. One thing that my father told me when I was young, he said, "Stefan, life is made out of constraint." Freedom is to invent your own constraint. And that's what Cirque du Soleil is doing. That's what I'm doing with my life, but what's, Cirque du Soleil is pushing itself, and we are pushing ourselves by, with boundaries that we decide that we want to have. And we're always surprised because you don't know where you're going, but you're just, by making the trip, you are inventing yourself. Comme si on était sur un parvis d'église, tu sais. Donc les gens sont invités sur une place publique. <laughs> Doing a, a set for cirque, it's you build a house where all those characters, all those people are going to live for many years. For 12 years, they're going to live in that house. So until the end of the, this portion, until the fixation of the piece, in, I think in Toronto, I will be responsible of the breeding of that house. Clowns early on were first used in religious ceremonies because it's very cathartic to laugh and laughter brings people together. And so the clown would always come out before the ceremony began and get everybody laughing. <laughs> And then when everybody went together, boom! Then they would go through this religious ceremony together. They would go through this religious moment together. But who brought everyone together? Who was the first person there? The clown. Clowning is the one circus art where you need an audience. You really need an audience because you need that laugh. Um, of course, any act needs an audience, but not quite in the same way that a clown does. As a clown, we have no fourth wall, you know? Other actors, when they perform on a stage or they're, or they're doing a play or they're creating a movie or something, there's always that imaginary fourth wall. There's that, you know, an actor can look here, he can look here, he can look here, he can look up there, 
but he can't look here. If he looks here, right at the audience, he ruins the show. And all the other actors go, oh, and the director throws his papers. But our director throws his papers if we don't look at the audience. <laughs> we have to connect with the audience. It's like being a street fighter. It's like scrapping. You, you, have, to, you, know, you have to know how to defend yourself. You have to know how to um, confront the audience and, and win them over. And act like the clown acts in this show where there's, there's sound effect after sound effect after sound effect and sort of like a, like a foley, almost like a cinematic sort of experience. It, it's, it's, it takes the same sort of time that an acrobatic act would take to develop and grow. Traditionally, it was the drummer, or it was the you know it was the it was members of the band who, who played the sound effects. It's a you know slapstick comes from a slap you know two pieces of wood slapped together you know. But that sort of interaction takes a while to for them to be in sync. But but when they get it, it's 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 sublime. We just met to do this show. We didn't know each other beforehand, and it's like we've worked together for years. The three of us just click like that. It's like staying in your home for, it's gonna be our home for like a few months. Ça te manque le chapiteau. Ça fait part de ta vie, le chapiteau. There's a vibrancy in the air that we can all feel, chills. And not just because of the cold outside, but because of what's in our hearts, knowing that this is birthing like an inspiring tree with buds and flowers waiting to fall upon all those deserving. Welcome to the show. Here are amazing because of the fact that 
They're not, they're not dancers, they're acrobats. And what we're trying to develop is not my language, but our own language. So that we give them steps that's gonna evolve into something rather than I give you step and this is how it is. Two, three, five, six, seven, seven, two, three. And five, they're finding a way through it, but they're getting it. By the end of the day, they're getting it. Kick, pop, to cat, to cat. I don't even look at it as a challenge. You have to find a way of making it work. And I work best when you work under pressure and you have to get it done. What we are going to go through soon is called a lion's den. We will receive critics after that, which means that we might have to change lots of stuff in the show, maybe change more choreographies, maybe change an act, put it in the second half, switch things. We'll work harder, maybe. That is really important in the process that we do in any of our production, is that we bring this show to an audience who's seen nothing, who hasn't been part of the process, and they just sit there and they go, huh, or they go, hmm. This is the week where we don't sleep, <laughs> because tomorrow we'll see for the first time, we're gonna run the show for the first time tomorrow, a month before the opening. So we're gonna have the feeling, the state, what is the soul of this show, and how is, is it breathing, and are we right about all the, the decision that we took you know, two years ago? Where are we? The thing about Guy La Liberté is that he sits not as a producer, he sits as a good audience. He is fresh and he's listening. And every team of creators that I work with really appreciate Guy's point of view because he knows his public. Tengo ahora 12 años de experiencia. Él tiene 5, 5 o 6 años. Entonces hemos como hecho un, un buen acople de, de la experiencia de él con la, la experiencia mía y nos hemos sabido entender. Mi familia le he mostrado los videos y se sienten orgullosos, pero a la vez con mucho miedo de que yo haga eso. Me dicen que no lo haga, que porque es muy peligroso. Pero es lo que me gusta a mí cuando a usted le gusta algo, no le importa. Déjame disfrutar un poco <risas> la adrenalina. No somos conformistas. Siempre queremos siempre seguir surgiendo, no quedarnos estancados en algo, sino seguir buscando cosas, buscar qué hacer más para tratar de mejorar y mejorar y mejorar. O sea, saliendo de lo paranormal, sientes volar, la verdad sientes volar. Volar y jugar con, quizás con tu vida, ¿no? Aunque no quiero jugar con mi vida, estoy muy seguro. Muchas personas también me dicen, estás loco. Eh, personas llegan y me preguntan, ¿por qué te ríes cuando, bueno, yo hago la parte final del show? y son unos saltos muy altos y todo esto y la gente dice oye yo me estoy muriendo, me está dando casi un ataque cardíaco y tú estás riéndote
We are the fifth generation of circus performers. Um, my grandfather used to have a circus, and uh, now my uncles run the circus. And uh, yes, we come from a circus uh, family generation. It doesn't matter where we go, you know, family is the family, they have to come with us, you know. It's like um, finger and nail, you know, the same, you know. Wherever the show goes, that's there's our, our home. It's a very difficult act, very dangerous act, with, because we don't use any safety device, net or, or a mechanic, or we don't use nothing. I mean, we depend on one cable. The more difficult thing is with, when don't use a balance pool, it's more difficult than anything, like a jump roll, like a fight with a short, jumping, it's very, very difficult. And running the wire yeah. without the bar and jumping and dancing, very a little difficult. mistake, you can miss one feet very easily. And you can break ribs, you can go down, you know. If it's no tension, it's no fun. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's the key to make something, all the puzzle together. We are 24 hours together. Uh, almost 24 hours. Almost, you know. I don't, I, I don't sleep with you, but you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> almost, almost, uh, almost all day together, you know. So it's normal little things, you know, like uh, they were, us, you know. He's my cousin, you know, my brother. My brother. Also, my brother Roberto is not here now, but. Le fil de Ferris, funambule, qui est arrivé ici, qui avait le cancer. Moi, je n'ai pas avec Serge. Je dis, moi, je m'excuse, mais garde. Si tu le renvoies. Toutes les autres sites là, là, qui demeurent, eux autres, les autres membres de la famille qui continuent, ils vont s'inquiéter pour lui. Ils ne seront pas capables de bien travailler. J'ai dit, garde-les. Ils vont s'occuper de lui. C'est une famille, hein? Une famille de cirque, ça s'aide, puis ça demeure ensemble. J'ai dit, garde-les. Fais suivre le traitement. Puis les autres vont continuer à bien travailler. Puis tu auras un bel esprit. Puis toute l'équipe va apprécier que tu prennes soin de ce gars-là. <rire> wonderful the artistic possibility I have so uh, je suis comblé <laughs> Il y a comme une évolution parce qu'au début on a des idées puis ah, on voudrait y mettre plein d'affaires puis tout ça puis ben on se rend compte que ben lui avec son jeu mettons les dents ça se pouvait pas là ça y faisait quand même beaucoup de choses il y a de la perruque les sourcils il y a les dents la moustache and that might be a little too much yes you know it's like the makeup's enough and then with the teeth you're on a pensé à des choses visuellement ça peut être intéressant mais ça ajoutait pas nécessairement au personnage I agree <laughs> what, what did she say <laughs> Pour un ensemble de raisons, je suis moins nerveux que je l'étais euh, il y a quelques jours. Parce que là, on a une semaine d'enfer. On, on a brisé deux tricksters dans la même semaine. I actually, I tore the Achilles. It's a little frustrating to work like eight months to create something that you can't premiere. But at the same time, my body is telling me something too. Il y a un problème technique, une confusion par rapport à un Q, ce qui fait que c'est au moment où je dois sortir de la boîte. J'ai malheureusement tout pris dans le genou. C'est extrêmement déçu. Écoute, on avait, on est arrivé à un moment où on a fait, waouh, on a une belle surprise. Puis là après ça, ça a été coup de poing sur la gueule, coup de poing sur la gueule, coup de poing sur la gueule, puis c'est tough, c'est ça. You can either be all down and sad or put some positive energy into healing and Hopefully it will go faster. I got here at 8 o'clock this morning uh, after finding out two days ago that I was going to be here and had to just drop everything in Las Vegas and get on a flight and I was here at 8 o'clock this morning. Okay. It's a shock, I'll tell you that. I never expected to be in a show tonight. When they said to me on the phone that I was in the show tonight, I was like, oh, you're funny, you guys. <laughs> Can I have the clip for the, for the photo, please? This is a rehearsal. I want it to sound. Do it again. 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 We're going to do this until we get it right. 
right, I'm sick of this. It's not your guys' fault, it's a musical issue. <laughs> Jeff, you need to come up here and figure this out with the band. Five, six, seven, and bigak! Five, six, seven, and bigak! Five, six, seven, and bigak! Okay? the rat stuff I've got to deal with, there's the costume getting pulled off me, then there's the fact I can't see anything because I'm wearing this huge mask. Uh, dancing, got to dance with the girls, got to follow the footwork, and yeah, it's going to be a challenge for me tonight, but as long as I keep all this together, it should be fine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time of night. Look at what we've got. For you. So sit back and let me introduce to you someone very special. We're gonna give you quite the show. Work it, skeletons. You wanna spend some time with me, boy? But I'm not going home till three, boy Cause I, I, I Wanna dance the cruise It's the perfect way to stop the revels From dishing dames and handsome devils like yourself I, I, I I wanna dance the cruise Because it's marvelous, bizarre Beginning to like that. Dump your date and come dance beside me. Come on, don't knock it till you've tried me. Yes, I. Para amor y suerte. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you too. Roberto. Roberto. No, you don't come. Three weeks from finish the chemo, yeah. and maybe three weeks more. Let's come back. Okay, everybody. Two times. Three times. No one I'm phoning sick. There's still a lot of things to work. I mean, there will be for probably six months anyway. Um, but it's improving every day. Like, we're getting uh, true reactions from real public. Which is different than in the studio when we have no audience. Uh, now we're knowing what works. And what doesn't? <laughs> what will people be seeing tonight, in a nutshell? They'll be seeing circus. You know, the essence of circus. I think there's always, I could always have more time. I could, would prefer if the gala premiere was next week, but then I'd prefer it to be a week after. But I'm happy with everything I've got to learn so far. And I'm happy with the way the show's going for me so far. So what I'm going to give is what they're going to get. Ladies and gentlemen, the house is now open, so we are 30 minutes to the 
top of the show. Stand by for 30 minutes and pop back for The funny thing is, what you have is you have the obstacle of adrenaline. We're all totally addicted to adrenaline. And when you're addicted to adrenaline, you're scared of public humiliation. And when you're like that, your body shuts down, your voice shuts down, and your imagination shuts down. He's a really good he's the best. juggler. Tell me, how many, how many can you juggle? I can do more than seven. Seven? More than seven. You know, nobody can do that much. More circles than most. So my job is to release all that and just make it so they have techniques to make them feel as natural as you and I, as I'm talking right now to you, right? <laughs> Give them heck. I think the hard part for me now is to let it go. Because I've, I, it's been so important and I've spent two years of my life doing this. And to let the artist go and do it. Because they need to play it now. They need to play it and play it and play it. You have to confront yourself with the public who is really the judge. The director has a vision. The creators are together as a team have a vision. And it's really when you bring it to the public that you really have the point of view of saying you are right or wrong. <laughs> Actually, I realized the more I grow up, I started to think about things. Like before, I would never think that the trapeze would fall off, you know. But now, like each time, I'm like, oh my god, and, and, and like I think about stuff, and I'm like, just stop it, just do your number, you know. It's a lot. It's, it gives me. I love adrenaline. I love when I'm scared, but it's like a really good emotion. I cannot like give it away in words. highly risky number. Will of death, it's, it's a will that turns on one pivot, you know, and that has to be so stable. And normally you don't do that in a big top, you know, because there's wind and there's, you know, movement. And, and suddenly you have that will of death stable in the middle of the stage and with those two guys turning the will at a speed that some spectators are gonna feel the wind in their face. Derrière le public, on ça parce que quand le public t'aide, tu fais son son discours. Direction is fantastic. Yeah, I think it's the whole the whole uh, show coming together. Creates reaction like that. My 
My greatest satisfaction is I think we achieved what we had set out to achieve, was to make a real human show and focus on the skill and wonder of the artists and make them really the center. It's a very fragile show because it really it depends on the communication that the artists have with the audience, that connection. Um, so I always tell them and try to remind them, if you're not connected, if you're not having a good time, the audience isn't having a good time, it's you and the lighting and costume and what you do that makes the show. Wonderful show, you guys were great. You, uh, you met all of our expectations. You went beyond that. You were, you were just fabulous. Everybody loved you. We have a great show. You have something to really be proud of. And uh, I want to thank you. I can't thank you enough. God bless, you guys were great. We love you! Love you! Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> 